Well, 2023 has come to an end. Let's do a recap. Prepare for launch. <laughs> What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Luna Figs coming to you once again from the Nerd Den located high atop Luna Base and 2023 has come to an end so I figure I'd go over some of my favorite pickups of the year. This is by no means a comprehensive top 10, 5, 15, 20 <laughs> list of figures of the year or anything. It's just a, kind of a sampling of what kind of stood out to me the figures that really brought me a lot of excitement and joy and uh might not be anything new or cool just stuff that i really liked uh so let's start off with the line that contained my figure of the year last year gi joe classified the trouble bubble came out this year very iconic uh vehicle from the original toy line one of my favorites so I was very excited to pick this up. Of course, they have the uh, Target exclusive uh, Viper Patrol version at Target. So <laughs> but I, I like the classic one. Uh, I'm very happy when they released this. And uh, so many great G.I. Joe figures. Uh, they continue to absolutely kill it over there in the uh, Hasbro G.I. Joe team. So uh, very, very happy with that pickup. Uh, lots of other G.I. Joe figures that I absolutely love, but that's kind of my representative of how well G.I. Joe did this year. Uh, continuing with the 80s goodness, uh, Masters of the Universe, the new Eternia line from Masterverse <laughs> has just been really great. And I uh, picked up Too Bad. I picked up, I think, pretty much all the new Eternia figures, but this one is just a great piece. So, very excited to add that one to the collection, uh, New Eternia. So, it's a great uh, subset of the Masterverse line, and I hope they continue with it. Uh, very cool. Then, uh, NECA. NECA just continues with great quality products. Released a lot of cool stuff this year. I picked up several things. Uh, the Universal Monsters are great. But my NECA favorite figure of the year... <laughs> <laughs> Another bit of nostalgia here, but my good buddy Alf here, and he dropped his popcorn. <laughs> well, I'll pick that up in a minute. But I uh, just loved Alf. Such a great figure. The uh, sculpt and paint on this is great. Great possibility. Just looks great on the shelf. So Alf, one of my favorite figures of the year. And then we'll go to... <laughs> One of my favorite things, you know, I love Star Wars. Got the Star Wars tree here. <laughs> two figures that came out this year might surprise you, but they're two of my favorite characters <laughs> and just made me so happy. But uh, little teeny tiny Wicket. I love this figure. I know it's not big. I know it's not <laughs> that much to it, but such a small figure has really great articulation looks great and hey wicket the ewok is one of my favorites i love this character and my absolute most favorite star wars character you may or may not know this r2d2 and they finally 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 gave us the correctly portioned r2d2 i love this figure so much again it's just a simple droid but you gotta love it looks so good so happy when they released this and i'm excited for the other astromech droids that are coming behind it they're also going to be the correct scale i will buy them all so super excited about that uh marvel legends i dabble in it you know i'm a spider-man guy so you can probably guess what got me really excited <laughs> this year we had the trio from no way home that finally got released with all three unmasked head sculpts. So, very excited that I was able to find all these. It was not easy. <laughs> so, if you're still looking for them, keep an eye out. They keep popping up. So, yeah, so glad to pick up the Spider-Man Trio. 
very cool love the movie great looking figures i know some people are having some qc issues with some of them i haven't had any issues but i don't try to get crazy nuts posing but uh very good looking likenesses and then finally uh ninja turtles <laughs> so many ninja turtles from so many different companies it's hard to pick but i'll be honest the og playmates made a new toy line for mutant mayhem and this just kind of represents that entire toy line i've got all four of the turtles here on my desk to kind of share with you but uh yeah this whole line of figures was just great i love the movie uh all the different mutants <laughs> and uh, new character designs they just did a great job and it's good to see just you know toys that are toys uh actually really good quality especially for the price not only ten dollars a figure and turned out to be such great looking pieces very fun to play with exactly what you want in a toy but uh that kind of wraps up <laughs> some of my favorite stuff there's probably some things i forgot about uh sitting here thinking like hey what about uh dc multiverse yeah there's some batman figures i liked uh the hush batman is hiding behind the tree right now so i can't get to it uh but yeah hush batman little honorable mention there <laughs> that's probably my favorite dc multiverse figure of the year and so many other great things uh picked up lots of other stuff i'm looking right here the n1 from the vintage collection great great toy there so yeah, so many great things that came out this year. But uh, like I said, just a little sampling of some of my favorite things from 2023. Uh, do me a favor, uh, leave a comment down in the comment section. List out some of your favorite stuff that you picked up this year or stuff that you wished you could have picked up this year. And uh, also uh, maybe let me know what you're looking forward to in 2024. Lots of great stuff coming, a very exciting time for us toy collectors. Uh, I know it can be a little frustrating sometimes. Prices are expensive. Uh, trying to track down exclusives and all that can be frustrating. But when it comes down to it, it's all still just a whole bunch of fun. But uh, that's all I've got. If you're new here, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notifications. And I'll see you in the new year.